cheer. You paid to see us, we didn't pay to see you. That's our job. Armor the Huge speaks the truth. Some fine celluloid gems queued up just for you in a horrible experiment I like to call cult classic theater. Let's watch a little film together, shall we? You know, my favorite blind date ever was a girl who was a zombie, but she kept going to pieces on me. <laughs> Today on cult classic theater, we'll be getting a tattoo with my good friend Wu Fang and my sister Putrice. Ah, today is Dementia 13. What a fine movie, containing one of my favorite lines ever. They're coming to get you, Barbara. I'm very excited about that. One of the best movies we'll show on cult classic theater. <laughs> Hello, Lassie. Is Timmy in the well? <laughs> that dog will never speak again. <laughs> I do, I do. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Remember, boys and girls, eat your vegetables. Brush your teeth. Get to bed early. I'm Dr. Crepula. Good night and good dreams. Truly, a man's home is his castle. That afternoon when I woke, I found my queen had deserted me. I knew what I had to do. I had to get her back. This is my story 
I'm Redneck Grease. Firecracker, we're going to find her, buddy. I love her so much. Because of her glandular condition, I knew my beloved Starlene had to eat a full meal every three hours. And her cuisine of choice was genuine southern barbecue. Hey, mister, I'm looking for my wife. She run off. Folks, I'm looking for my, my wife. She's run away from me. I was wondering if you might have seen her. In a bit of a predicament, mister. My wife's run off from me, and I'm trying to find her. Said she's going to get some barbecue. Boy, some of these barbecue folks are right talkative. All right, we're here with Miss Holcomb, who with her husband, his name? David. David started this business 28 years ago. Ms. Holcomb said they kept the floor sawdust so that just in case the barbecue didn't work out, they could put the hogs back in. Most of the vinegar base? Vinegar base. Yeah. Got vinegar, uh, ketchup, tomato juice, red pepper, black pepper, and salt, a little bit of peanut oil. Just put your hams on here. We burn the wood outside in the burner. Get the coals in, bring them in a shovel full of time, and scatter them under the meat. Right, so your door's on the bottom? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you don't cook chicken, you just do pork, right? No, no, no chicken. My father-in-law tried it when he first opened, but it didn't, didn't go. We've also got the beef that, uh, it gets a little bit messy during the day, you know, and you can't really clean it, you throw it out of here just as fast as you can. The horn oinks, it does. You turn the, well, actually, just the radio. You turn the radio on, it's got the pigs on there, and it just starts squealing, just like a bunch of pig, pigs in a pig pen. Sometimes I could swear I was getting closer. Little clues that I was right behind her kept popping up. The way a napkin was wadded up, or the smell of a unisex bathroom. I have to admit, I was getting used to all this fine eating. Old Starlene, I love her, but her idea of dinner was squeeze cheese on a Slim Jim. She called it a double wide blunt. She left me for a plate of barbecue. I'll find her if I have to search the whole world through. She called it hash, I called it Brunswick stew. Out for some barbecue to help me lose these. She done left me blue.